Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back in some Dragon Air, picking up where we left off, heading into the Ruined Trade Road, I believe it's called, and hopefully closing in on that next boss, because we're trying to get that legendary. Uh, before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to Dragon Air for sponsoring this video. If you decide you want to check the game out, there's a link below you can click, or you can scan the QR code that's on the screen right now. And uh, and, and then be sure and get in the Discord, because we got a pretty, pretty active Dragon Air section in my Discord right now, so... Uh, yeah, big shout out to them for sponsoring this one. And big shout out to y'all for checking out my sponsors because that helps me out a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to it. Now, when I go in here, it just opens up. And resurrection point activated. Return here to do what? I didn't catch the last part of that. So what is this? Is this about to be difficult? Is that what you're telling me? All right, so I guess we've got a fight here. Sand serpents are adept at splitting and disguising, but the splits are fragile. Keep killing the true form will dissipate the splits. All right. So then you, you need to be healed. You need to be So, I'm thinking, something like that, might be good. So that's probably the real boss, right? I guess we got them all. Don't bother trying. Hide. Sneaking a heal before the fight's over, maybe we can... Turn here to do something. I thought it was heal or something. Maybe not. Maybe it's just if I die. And blow you to the enemy's back line for an unexpected back stab. Okay. I reckon we'll just that that formation seemed to work pretty well. We probably want to do this, get them out of our back line, and then we can go after you and do a little AOE damage if we get the kill. Oh, she's so close to getting killed, dude. I got auto. Alright, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll run auto so we don't have to, or till we need to turn it off, I guess is what I meant to say. What do we have here? So, I guess I'll do that. That might be kind of fun. Everybody's good on health. Let's go. Worry not. I 
in here. <laughs> Don't bother trying to hide. Shadow Blade! Worry not. I am here. Right, well, I was a little worried about them <laughs> when they got back there and were doing so little damage. I was like, I might have just sent them to their death. Go to the camp to unlock the part. Hopefully that doesn't like move me anywhere on the actual map. All right, what do you want me to do? Okay, okay. I don't reckon we'll buy anything yet. I need to learn what is going to be, like, efficient. Now, that's a dead end, so we can go back here and see. Oh, we needed to do that anyway. For some reason, I thought we'd already hit the third one. Collect, connect all nodes to unlock the treasure chest. Do I have to drag? Oh, I see. I reckon that's going to be fun later on when they get difficult. I like stuff like that. Alright, there better be something good in that chest. I know that. Drum bears, spin every unit, spreading out your deployment may be a good countermeasure. All types of bears are full of... Spreading out your deployment of brown bears. Does that mean my deployment of brown bears, or does that mean spreading them out around them? Like, am I going to get brown bears at some point? I don't understand. <laughs> I guess we'll do that, then. We'll, we'll take the advice. Worry not. I am here. Don't bother trying to hide. Shadow Blade! Yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it, dude. We're getting stronger. Good timing on that heal. Good to get a heal off right at the end of the fight, because it sets you up well for the next one. What's this? Oh, lots of new stuff in here to check out. All right, I need to go through the region with that, probably. Not in a video. Help me. You're my only ray of light on this unlucky day. He's the one that's around. Sometimes it lets you move them. Okay, let's um Man, that's that's a lot. There's a lot that's a lot of enemies. We might just try this again. Let's just do this again. Not bother going to the back line just yet. Ooh, they're doing a lot of damage. Oh, I should have sent... You know what I should have done? Maybe you sent my healer to the back line. Like my healer and a damage dealer. Hero and... Uh, healer and tank, maybe. I don't know. Are we going to get back there quick enough? I don't know. Oh, she hit him with the heal. Nice. 
I think we're good. Don't bother trying to hide. Man, having the battle not end when the boss dies is tricky sometimes, as we learned <laughs> recently. All right, done. What do we get at camp? Training ground. All right, how's this gonna work? Get familiar with pre-battle deployment. Okay. This will probably be pretty handy as well. Okay. If I'll do that in a video uh, in a video or if I'll just do it. Although it's it's orange like it's a quest. Complete. Oh, it wants me to do it specifically. Okay, I guess we'll do at least this then. Position your character to kill the enemy sorcerer. Let's get to it. Heading a rug, dude. Be my firewood. Taste my hammer. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, it's the whole section. All right. I guess I guess we are doing it in a, in a video then. Check the enemy's skills and choose the right hero to deploy. Deals lightning damage to an enemy, inflicting healing prohibition for 10 seconds. So we've got... And taking damage, reduce the damage, deals cold damage. Kills an ally. So it should still just be that, right? This shall be an effortless victory. Wouldn't it still just be him? I don't know. Yeah, it seemed like it would be him. The other chick was a support. Use wind form trap. We have a little bit of experience with that. Deploy a melee character behind. Oh, I don't have to put him in it. I can put him behind. Okay. Support, poison, defense. I guess we'll try that. He's gonna struggle, dude. Okay, so I guess wherever I put them, they're just going to run forward until they hit an enemy. Unless it's like a support or maybe a mage that stays back. I guess that makes sense. Pay attention to the enemy characters and their starting skills. Adjust the positions to prevent your character from being attacked. And their starting skills. 
stretches out its tentacles and pulls the first enemy it hits to the front, dealing physical damage and inflicting stun. Okay. Jumps to the farthest enemy and attacks them, dealing physical damage. So if that's the case, I would want to do something like this. Sure you want my help. This. This. To it. She's going to jump to him. They're not going to be able to hit because we're not in their line. Didn't that make sense? But then he ran away. <laughs> maybe, maybe their range was different than... Ooh. That dude's ult is dope. Okay, now... We are done? Yes. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. What do we have here? Brussels sprout. Let's go, dude. What do we need? 3,000? I can do 3,000 easy. Give me a four. Let me hit a four. I haven't hit a four yet. I feel like I've hit three most times I've done that. Which is dope. I'm mad about it. Better than a one or a two, but like... Alright. Give me that. And then Outlands Rift. What is that? Do we see what that is? Team challenge, I get a reward bonus. Level 25, level 10. I feel like I'm better off with the level 10 one. Team challenge, is that like put me in a game with other people? Okay. Oh, if, if that's the level it's talking about, I probably am not ready for this. Probably not ready for that then. We'll just keep going. Okay. So what's all this stuff? Give the tonic potion to the goblin. Sure. I mean, that was, yeah, that was well worth it. Wow. Inquire about Jacob's woes. Sure. We'd be accepting side quests, dude.
I got no problem with the side quest. These have also... Okay. I was just going to say, these have also... Uh, these have always proven to be worth it. And then we roll a one, so, you know. Day follows night, and night follows day. What shines bright in the dark eternally? I guess I should have read what it said prior. What shines bright in the dark eternally? Why does it have to have been split? That seems like that would be the answer. I don't think I've gotten one of those right yet. Damn it. <laughs> That's really annoying, dude. Is it time to scrap? While guarding a stronghold, you need to prevent the monster from escaping. Deploying damage dealers is recommended. While guarding a stronghold, Oh, dude. So it's like tower defense. Okay. Interesting. I guess this seems like a pretty good setup, actually, already. What's her range looking like? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, this is where I can put her. I want to get her somewhere where she can hit everybody with her ult, which I think. Can I see? From the center, two out, two up. So there would work. So we're good. Yeah, I reckon that seems like a decent enough setup. Target the one that's going to escape. You goober. Bro, they are moving. Sheesh. <laughs> I've never seen a tower defense thing where they sprint like that. Get it. Okay. All right. Well, at least we know that next time that's going to be pretty intense. That is the third time. I wonder why they keep doing that test. That's the third time in the last probably 40 minutes they've done that, that fire evacuation test. And he says the same thing every time he does it. Why? Are we being pranked? Beat the goblins. Okay, I think before we go in here, this is probably a pretty good place to wrap it up anyway. Uh, while I go take no action for our fire drill or whatever this is. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching. Big shout out to Dragonair for sponsoring this one. There's a link below if you decide you want to check it out or a QR code on the screen that you can scan. And then, of course, hop into our Discord. Uh, again, big thank you to Dragonair for sponsoring this one. And I appreciate y'all for checking it out. And uh, see you in the next one.